Well, good afternoon, everybody. JT here. And, uh, in case you haven't guessed it already, we've got a package. This one is from the Moody Bobby One. I, uh, all I've done was I cut it open and removed any any personal information off of the box. And I wanted to leave this for you guys. So here it is. Of course my dog is going to... Oh, let me uh, turn the screen so I can see. I'm going to say, of course my dog is going to get in the way. <laughs> Okay, so, this is uh, my contest winnings from the Moody Bobby One, his huge giveaway. I'm out here at the, at the lean-to I built for my overnighter. You see my dog is over here just sniffing our way, because he's just the best as puppy, ain't you? Yeah, you want to see? You want to you check it out? You want to check it out? Okay, we'll check it out. <laughs> Alright guys, here it is. We have... Well, everything, uh, like he said, he was going to put it in the canvas laundry bag. First up, we have ourselves... This would be the hooch pup tent. I love these things. This is uh, already one of my favorite things that that could be in this uh, giveaway. So I really love it. Thank you. I appreciate it, man. Um, he said it was never used, and looking at it, um, you can tell it's only really been used once or twice in its whole lifetime, and that's excellent because these things are very durable and last forever. So even though they might be kind of uh, impractical at times. Alright, next. <laughs> Look at this. Next is the canteen. I think you said this is a Roscoe style pouch. It's got a, got a little pouch on the front right here for uh, whatever you deem necessary. Oops. Here it is. This is awesome, man. I uh oh look at that. US AGM well, you probably can't see it. It says right here, US AGM Company nineteen forty four. I love it. This is uh it's awesome man, damn near an antique. We have here the butterfly style canteen cup pot. These are excellent too. This is probably going to be one of my favorite favorite tools. I know I'm going to always be carrying this with me, man. This is a uh, this is awesome. <laughs> really. I have to uh, I have to say that you guys in this YouTube bushcrafting survivalist community that I've uh, I've come to be a part of. You guys have welcomed me with open arms and, and advice and, and just amazing, amazing support and, and you mean, a, a few shout-outs here and there. I mean, that's just awesome, man. I, I never expected to, I mean, when I started my channel that I, this would be happening to me at all. So, I really appreciate it. You guys, you guys have taken the act of giving and, and taking it back to its purest form. And I mean that's something to that's, that speaks volumes of somebody's character. So thank you again, you guys. Especially the Moody Bobby one. All right, next. Oh, all right. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Oh yeah, buddy, I love it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't stop smiling right now. So this would be. We'll start with this simple. This is a, a fire steel 
fail rod. Leather uh, leather lanyard on it. It'd be awesome. Almost never break on you. We have ourselves a. Oh wow, this is kind of kind of tough. Nice and real tough fit. But then again, this is a brand new sheath. It's a uh, Bark River knife and tool uh, sheath crafted by Sharpshooter Sheath Systems. Real soft, supple leather. Heavy, heavy stitching. Looks like looks like it'll last me a long time. Thank you, Bobby. Brand new sheath, you guys. I see him. I, uh, if you look on his channel, he uh, he shows you when he when he gets when he gets this and takes it out of the package. And so, brand new sheath. Uh, uh, as far as as far as this sheath is concerned, I I'm, I would be its first real owner, I guess. Because uh, he said the the knife that he bought this for didn't fit. So. This, I'm really excited over. Let's see if we can get this. This is my very first Mora knife, or Niv, I guess is how you pronounce it. Mora Niv. Uh, I forget. I think I said it was the companion. I can, I can immediately tell. Oh, by the way, highly sharp. Highly. I mean, I could... I'm barely touching this, and, and I tell you what, man, I'm willing to bet he put this through his uh, his new machine that he got, which is really cool, by the way. Uh, type of belt sander, uh, knife sharpener, blade sharpener, axe, and whatnot. So thank you again. This is this is my first one, and I guarantee this will be on my hip at all times. Um, I've heard nothing but but excellent excellent reviews about these knives. And this definitely will not be my last one. Oops, sorry, I'm always out of, out of focus or out of frame. Definitely will not be my last one. There's a sheath for it. But it will always be my favorite. Because uh, I got this from a friend off of YouTube. Oh, I just noticed the, the nice riveting on it. Oops, right there and right there and... The rivets right down here. So yeah, this is definitely going to be a one I hold on to for as long as possible, as long as I can, man. This is going to be awesome. Thank you again. All right, so that was the knife. What else we got here? Yeah, buddy, I get to do something now. <laughs> we got the the paracord, 550 paracord. Uh, I believe he said this is 50, 60 foot Hank. And uh, I've been actually really wanting to uh, get into making paracord bracelets and maybe even a few belts here and there. And so this will definitely get me sent sent on my way. And I've been looking at Mr. Coop, 1967. Go check him out if you haven't. He, uh, great guy. Uh, just got a new place actually. <laughs> Congrats, Mr. Coop, by the way, again. Uh, but he does he does a lot of paracord bracelets and uh he shows you how to make some jigs and and shows you a couple different weaves that you can do and he also sells them and makes them so if, if you guys feel like uh getting a hold of a jig and we're just lazy and don't want to make one yourself uh get a hold of Mr. Coop and he'll definitely uh he'll definitely hook you up and and it's a uh, quite a fair price so this will definitely get me on my way for whatever need be whether it's uh making my survival bracelets or and, and and belts and lanyards or uh you mean setting up shop so awesome thank you sir <laughs> yeah buddy what are you doing puppy hi wolf what are you doing you say hi say hi youtube say hi to the youtube that's the youtube family okay Next on the list, we've got LED flashlight. Awesome. I, uh, this would be a nice little uh, handy thing because LEDs last for, for quite a, a long time. Um, this will definitely be going to my back. Thank you, sir. Next up, we have... All right. I don't have one of these. And this would be the Fiskers 
folding saw. Put a nice little uh, paracord lanyard on it for me. It's got, uh, looks like, locking, locking handle, locking blade. Push the button on top. Bloop. <laughs> I like it. Definitely coming handy for doing little, cutting up little branches and setting up camp. It would be awesome. Thank you, sir. Getting the firewood and whatnot. That's guaranteed another uh, something else is going into my pack. Okay, so these two items, or four items, six, seven, eight, something like that, because um, this has a lot more than just one. These are the stakes for that hooch. Brand new, unopened. I love it. This would be awesome, man. When I get when I set that thing up, I'm definitely going to show you guys. This is that. <laughs> oh man, this this really made my day, man. I appreciate it, Bobby. Thank you, sir. These are uh, the tent stakes, hooch stakes. Connect like so, male and female part. I'll show you guys how to set up the pup tent if no one knows how. Or even if you do know how, I'm still going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I love those, man. All right. Okay, so next two items we have slingshot band. Thank you, sir. I was actually need another slingshot band. I got one uh, a wrist rocket from Walmart a couple years ago, and it just just started to get a pinhole in the, in one of its bands. So thank you, I appreciate it. This would be awesome. Right, right when I needed something too. And this I'm actually really excited about. Um, it's fixing wax. I had never heard of it until I started surfing YouTube. I didn't even know Dave Canterbury had a had a his Pathfinder school until I started surfing YouTube and made my channel. So this is the fixing wax. I'm, I'm interested to see what it looks like. The uh, I went to the Pathfinder website and it's, we're kind of vague but pretty much it's for waterproofing um, fixing stuff, you mean waxing bowstrings and and whatnot. it's highly versatile <laughs> look it looks like a Reese's peanut butter cup <laughs> yes I just smelled it <laughs> this would be cool I'd like to oh and, and uh, you can use it as help you with the fire starter and all that so I'm definitely going to be uh, reading up on, on this fixing wax, Bobby. I, I want to really find out all the different uses people have found out for it. I, mean, I know it doesn't, don't cost that much off his website, but still. Uh, I know there's a lot more than just what I've read real briefly and what, what you said and, and all that stuff. So I'm going to do some, some research. So that was the fixing wax. Alright, and we have ourselves the our last item which I showed you in the beginning that everything was in is a uh, old canvas bag. Good heavy duty. It looks like it might have been issued to somebody. It's got the last name Fowl on it, F A U. Um, that's cool. Still has a drawstring in it. And you know this is military issue because it's, uh, or I don't know guaranteed military issue but it's real similar because of the drawstring and the heavy grommets and heavy canvas and not to mention <laughs> not to mention I'm gonna see if I can catch it on camera um, no you can't see it it's got US on it so this is gonna be awesome it's gonna be fun I really appreciate it Bobby thank you for the great giveaway uh, if you guys haven't checked them out, it's the Moody Bobby one. Uh, great guy, man. I know I've mentioned it a few times, but he just took us on a duck hunt that that I've never gone on, so that was real entertaining for me. Um, let's see, what else? Hey, the Swedish paracord nut. 
is doing a giveaway right now. Uh, I really, I really like his theme because it's uh, he's bringing to light history of his countrymen. So that's really, really cool. And and I'm gonna be doing a VR probably this evening for that. Um, let's see. Go check out D-Man one on one. He makes recycled knives. I mean, he'll take some old cutlery and 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 pretty much just make it a new blade, give it a whole new life. And he uh, has some really interesting designs, man. I I like I like the idea that he's recycling old knives. Otherwise, that would have been rotted, rusted melted down whatever but he's he's giving these lives these knives a second life and that's that's really cool uh, who else I don't know off the top of my head I, I, I don't really can't really think of any more we got Mr. Coop we got Swedish Paracord Nut um, oh as always go check out the really big monkey got the Moody Bobby one who who sent me this awesome stuff um let's see hey go check out leaf life bushcraft gentleman in the uk he's done a he's done a couple videos and he's quite thorough actually i like his uh i like his thoroughness that that he does and and he's done reviews on on different uh i mean like maxpedition pouches and whatnot that he has so go check him out also. Anywho, guys, that's about it. I'm going to put all this back in the box and take it inside. And we're going to we're gonna go check my live trap and see if I got anything. If not, I'll probably have to move it. So uh, let, me, uh, let me show you all my, my puppy. He ain't really a puppy no more. His name is Gouda. Yes, I said Gouda. Oh, you that handsome puppy. I guess you'd say say he's a red nosed pit, hundred percent. Uh I named him Gouda after the cheese. <laughs> or the E forty rap song. Up to you. Depending on your age group. So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm going to get all this inside, you guys, and I'm going to go check my live trap and have my phone with me so I can show you if I catch anything. This is JT signing out. Thank you again to the Moody Bobby One. Have a great day, everybody.